In this video, you'll discover the real cause of heart disease and stick around because this may potentially save your life. Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Zorowski and welcome back to the channel. Now if you're new to the channel, as always, it's a pleasure to have you here. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and join our notification community so that way I can help you excel your health and your life. In this video, you're going to discover the real cause of heart disease. This is a major issue because when we look at the cause of early deaths worldwide, it really comes back to heart disease being a major player in that. Now, what people don't understand is that what is really causing heart disease? They hear these different things from you know people on the internet, but they really don't truly understand it. And so we're going to talk about not only in this video the real cause of heart disease, but we'll talk about some different indicators that you must know, that you must be tested on in order to truly understand whether or not heart disease is in your future. We'll talk about that at the end of the video, so go ahead and stick around. But let's go ahead first of all and talk about the real cause of heart disease, and that is inflammation. Now, you've probably heard that said a million times, so what I want to do is unpack that and really explain what it means. Now, when we look at inflammation, there's acute inflammation and chronic inflammation. Now, acute inflammation hurts, okay? This is stubbing your toes, smashing your finger. It hurts, but it's not deadly. Chronic inflammation is this inflammation that basically is at the root cause of all chronic disease out there. So chronic inflammation occurs and it kills, and that's the bad part. And the thing about chronic inflammation is that you don't even know what's happening. It's just occurring in the body and as a result it creates all types of disease in the body and it kills and now chronic inflammation the cardiovascular system is very dangerous okay so this is the major cause and the main cause of heart disease but we got to talk about this a little bit further because we know okay inflammation is the main cause of heart disease but what about cholesterol my doctor said you know total cholesterol is the major issue here let's talk about cholesterol now because we're going to break this down in stages and unpack this whole thing Cholesterol is an essential molecule in the body. It's important for vitamin D. It's important for steroid hormones. It's important for sex hormones like estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, absolutely essential. And then it also is important for neurological health. It's, it's critical for brain health, cell health. And so the idea that cholesterol is bad and we need to just get rid of it from our bodies is absolute insanity. It plays a very important role in the body. And as a matter of fact, a lot of people who go and get cholesterol medications to drive down cholesterol, they start to have other problems that start to uh, persist, neurological problems, problems with their memory, just because they're driving that thing that is very necessary for their body down into the ground. Now let's talk about cholesterol because we've been told there's HDL and there's LDL. There's the LDLs which are bad cholesterol and then there's the HDLs which of course are the good ones. But let's talk about that a little bit further because the LDLs are considered the bad cholesterol that carry cholesterol to the cells that are in need. And you'll understand why this happens and the importance of it in a minute. Now there's the HDL, which is going to pick up the excess cholesterol and take it to the liver. And that's considered the good cholesterol by many doctors out there. Let's break this cholesterol conversation down a little bit further. Now the bad cholesterol, the LDLs. Now there's two types and most people have never heard this before. And you also have probably never heard that cholesterol in a good health the individual is a completely healthy thing. It's not even dangerous at all. Now, when we look at the LDLs, there's two types. There's subtype A and subtype B. Subtype A, completely harmless, just going around doing its job. It has a purpose. Subtype B, these are more hard and dense um, molecules and they contribute to heart disease and the thing is about these LDLs subtype B, the smaller the particle size, the more dangerous they are. And so many people, once again, are just going around looking at total cholesterol, but not really breaking down subtype A, subtype B. What is it? How, what are the size of the particles? This all matters. Now let's break down a little bit what happens when we talk about inflammation occurring and in, in causing heart disease and how this LDL really plays a role in it, the LDL subtype B. Now, first of all, it all starts with toxins. And I put toxins as a general term to basically categorize toxic stress, a toxic diet, um, toxic amounts of uh, sugar in the body, toxins like environmental toxins, like let's say heavy metals, let's talk about the pollutants that are you know, in the chemicals in your home, all these different things. So it all starts with toxins. And when these toxins infiltrate the cardiovascular system, what happens is a chemical change happens to the LDLs. Remember, these LDLs are completely healthy, and then this chemical change occurs in them. These LDLs become oxidized. After they become oxidized, they start to stick to the arterial wall. They stick to the arterial wall. And remember, I said before, the smaller the particle, the more dangerous they are. So we get these subtype B, small particles, 
oxidized cholesterol due to this chemical change that occurred, they're sticking to the arterial wall. Once they stick to the arterial wall, the next thing that happens is it drives in a massive amount of inflammation to that area. That inflammation causes endothelial dysfunction, and that endothelial dysfunction does two things. First of all, it's going to drive more of this bad cholesterol, this LDL, this small particle, um, and, and this subtype B cholesterol to the endothelial dysfunction area. And basically what that means is, is a dysfunction with within the arterial lining. So it drives more of that to it. And then the other thing that happens is the immune system says, hey, we got to fix this. So it sends the macrophages to this area as well. What happens with these, um, these LDLs, these small particles, these macrophages, they basically will go and form a clot. Now this clot ideally is designed to you know, fix the problem, but unfortunately this clot can go and cause all types of major cardiovascular concerns and even cause death. And so it's not a good thing. But when we look at this whole problem, right, I unpacked of how this is occurring, we don't have to just go, okay, well, you know, um, cholesterol was at the site of damage, this LDL cholesterol. So that means it was the LDL that did it. You know, we have to actually put a more educated approach to this whole thing and understand what's happening. First of all, we really comes back to right here. It, it comes back to that healthy lifestyle. It comes back to making sure that we're not over consuming sugar. We have to make sure that we're not having a, just a completely stressed out lifestyle that's affecting us. We have to make sure we have a good diet. We have to make sure we're exercising. We have to make sure we're doing the right things. But the idea that we just have to you know, live our lives and be afraid of this cholesterol, which most people don't even understand, I mean, that's just insanity. And so we have to be aware of this situation and how it actually occurs. And with this knowledge right here, you can make huge changes in your life. As a matter of fact, if you want to learn more about um, heart disease and cholesterol and where this whole myth about cholesterol causing heart disease started, check out a video I did right up here on it because if you've been told that, um, you're going to see why. And so now let's talk about proper testing and what to look for because this is what really matters. This is, this is so important because if you can do the proper testing and look for the proper indicators that truly are going to determine if you're going to have heart disease in your future, it can save your life. Now there's the tests that we want to really focus on. First of all, a test that's going to look for is the LDL subtype A or subtype B. And then we also want to look for the particle size. So we do a test called the NM NMR test that looks for the particle size of the cholesterol. Now there's other tests out there. There's the fibrinogen test. There's the um, test that's going to look for um, the uh, inflammatory molecule, so LP little a. We also can do a uh, calcium test to look at the arteries and if they're calcifying or not. Um, the other test that we are going to do is look at HDL, LDL, and know if there's oxidation going on because we're gonna look at homocysteine levels. We're gonna look at the particle size. We're gonna look at all the details. And so these are all tests that are going to be very beneficial to truly know if you have heart disease in your future. And what I'll do for you is two things. First of all, I'll put a link to the test that I use in the description below when it comes to uh, detecting um, um, heart problems before they're really a problem. And then what I'll also do is put a link to a package that I use with my patients in my clinic in order to help them improve their heart health. It's just designed to help really go and start reversing some of these issues we're talking about here. So be sure to check out those different resources and also give this video Video thumbs up I'd greatly appreciate it and be sure to share this information with your friend like I said there's there's uh, so many people who are suffering from heart disease and they really need to know the true information and so be sure to share this with them if you have questions put it in the comment section below and then I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and then lastly check out my other videos on how you can improve your health I'll see you in the next video